Hello everyone, Gremlin Archer here. Time for another round of Project Zomboid. Today we're going to be playing or starting a hard, hard mode game. Um, high population, few mods, some other things. Um, I'm going to save all of the setup. I'm going to put the setup at the end of this video so that um, if you, so we can just get right into the action. But if you want to see the setup and everything, it'll be at the end. Enjoy. All right, we got Mr. Crom Archer here. Crom L Archer. <laughs> uh, let's see, do we want to change anything here? Shoes, jeans, t-shirt. All right, let's get in there. If I did this right, the population shouldn't be terrible on the first day, but it'll get bad real fast. We'll see where we end up starting to. I'll be interested to see. All right, we're in a house somewhere. Let's just start picking up stuff. A grapefruit. Canned potatoes. All right, they're not great weapons, but we do have weapons right off the bat, so that's nice. Tailoring volume one, I'll take. These higher level books, I don't think it's worth bothering at the moment. So this house, this is one of the bigger houses. I think we might be out in the country somewhere. This feels like a book that I've, uh, a uh, house that I've been in that's out in the country before. But we will see in a minute. Hey, a hammer. There's nothing in that first aid kit. I guess that's extremely uh, low loot, extremely rare loot for you. That's nothing in here. Oh, the TV. Is there a TV in here? No. I'm missing the cooking show. Should probably rip up one of these sheets for potential uh, injury dealings. Oops, I started moving. Started moving too early. Leg warmers. Shell suit jacket sounds good to me. I think technically these other jackets are more uh, <laughs> more protective, but you can't you can't argue with that style. All right, done with this house. Let's get a drink and then see what we're dealing with. Drink. All right, game. Okay. Yes, we are out in the country. Take the garbage bags. Where? We're out in the country, but where is the question? Not really sure. Hey, oh no, he no fair. I wasn't that close to the wall. Oh, the frying pan's about to break. Never used this this uh condition mod before. It's interesting the way it flashes when you take damage. There goes the frying pan. Someone got a watch for me? Yeah, it's a... It's technically a watch. There you go. That's what I want. So far, they're not grouping up. That'll happen soon. Takes them a little while. Oh, 
probably don't need a rolling pin. Food. Get more food. We still don't have a we don't have a can opener yet, which is means some of this food doesn't really matter because <laughs> no can opener, no real food. All you got is just some cans you can stare at. Not even the fun kind. There's a zombie coming up behind me that, uh... We can kill without damaging their stuff. They've got that hard hat plus the gloves. Good, good additions. Plus maybe the shoes. Yeah, military boots. This is a high pro, high uh, pre, high uh, quality zombie here. I just improved our situation quite a bit. Where am I gonna go? Yeah, starting to group up now. I think we might just leave this area. Hey, there's a police officer. I don't really know where we are. I mean, I know we're in the country, but I don't really know where. There's a backpack. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that, though. Since I already have an entourage. I'm just going to head down the road. We're going to move on down, move on down, move on down the road. House there. I know it's not a house, it's just a shed, but... What is a shed but a small house? The original tiny homes. Where does this road go? We got a partially built barn here and a partially built house. It's under construction. I have no idea where I am. I don't remember this at all. Might be I might be in somewhere in the more rural parts of Louisville. Cause this is news to me, with regards to this house. I know I could open my map and it would give me an idea where I am, but I, I want to try and figure it out first before I open my map to look. Alright, we're getting thirsty now. I was waiting for it to go to the next level so that I could uh, eat the grapefruit and gain the benefits. Yeah, there's another house over here under construction. more things that this is a yeah this is a neighborhood under construction but I don't know where it is <laughs> I think it I think it's in the Louisville area gravel bag that's not helpful oh 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 don't have any cigarettes yet but that lighter will be helpful Hello. Hello, crowbar. I also really... That wood axe is in bad shape. I'll just leave it. I would like to take it, but it's in bad shape, and we don't have a lot of space right now, so... Leave it behind. Oh, hello. Screwdriver? Sure. Um, let's get out that... Crowbar. Apparently somebody was sticking 
<laughs> Somebody was just sticking screwdrivers in zombies, because there's another one. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take this one because it's in better shape. I want to go across because the but the office is over there, which probably has a water tank in it. That group of four zombies isn't usually too bad. Apparently the no face crew. I mean, almost everyone's missing their faces here. Thirsty again. Nothing useful. Crates, lots of plaster. There's a, there is a time and a place for plaster, which is, and when you need it, you need a lot of it, but now is not that time or that place. Ball peen hammer. A garbage bag, nothing. Time to go into the office. I'll be surprised if it doesn't have a water cooler. See a mini fridge. There's a water cooler. Told ya. You didn't believe me. Are they coming? I hear somebody making noise. Oh, they're behind the place. That's why. Oh, that's a decent sized group. We did not get them all in, luckily. Only four. Watches, no alarm. I know it's kind of probably kind of early to be worrying about collecting watches, but when you need them, you really want a lot of them, so <laughs> I'm just gonna take them and hope for the best. Tool cabinet over there. Oof, we're getting we're getting into the land of, of a lot of zombies. Probably shouldn't be spending until we find a place that's like acceptable to, to to settle. I probably shouldn't be spending all this time killing zombies. Oh yeah, we're out. No more zombies. Starting to get a little uh, anxious from not having a cigarettes, but yeah, that's gonna happen. Let's run through here real quick. See if there's anything that we can grab real fast. Oh, wrong side of the this is that uh, yeah, that was un that was unsafe. Um some sort of bad weather is coming, I think I just saw on the thing. <laughs> That'll be fun. Second day bad weather, it's always a good good time. construction site is quite extensive. 
Which le leads me to believe more in more that we're in the Lua of Valeria, because having something this size that I've never seen before seems less likely, unless it's a, f a fill in of space that was used to be empty. They did some of that when they rolled out the Louisville map, was put in some places that were like just dead space all around the map that they filled in with in more interesting things. Oof, 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 nope, this is, I'm almost positive we're in Louisville area now. Judging from this, oh god. <laughs> and this is just the start. What is this going to be like in in, uh, <laughs> in a couple of days when the ramp up is done? I want to know what this is a parking lot for. So we're gonna get we're getting a little uh, risky here. Man, you you really wouldn't think oh, that was a hazmat zombie. You really wouldn't think that just upping the rally size by, uh, by 10 would make that much of a difference, but man, it really does. Oh, this is the mall? Oh, well, no, we're in, we're in Valley Station near the mall. That's why there's so many zombies. <laughs> yeah, that, that bit that we were just in is in, is fill-in stuff that didn't used to be full of, full of, uh, stuff. That's why I didn't recognize it. Okay, this also means that our chances of finding a, like, safe place to, to hang out, um, is gonna be tricky. Because <laughs> there aren't too many safe places around the mall. I wish I could get a, a free enough space to get a car. But that's certainly not going to happen. If I could start a fire, <laughs> we could clean up the area a little bit, but that's also, that's also a pipe dream. I'm just dreaming. I'm dreaming big dreams, you know? It's important to, to dream your dreams. Swing out. Oh, this is gonna be still be bad. Yeah, the, the one of the one of the issues we're gonna run into here in Valley Station is that the uh, the population of zombies in the Valley Station area, pretty much no matter where you go, is considered high. Um. So yeah. So that'll be fun. Several large groups closing on me from multiple directions. <laughs> Split the uprights here. Let me get clear of the actual mall. We're we're into the like spot that's in line with the, uh, the movie theater, which is an improvement. Not much of one, but it is technically an improvement. Okay, I'm bobbing and weaving my way out into the countryside a little bit, which seems to be at least quieting the zombie numbers down a little bit. Not enough for us to stop moving, but it's a little bit quieter. Anything that gives us water besides the uh, broccoli is technically a little bit. Let's go ahead and eat that. We have this beer can, but that if I drink that, we're going to get real sleepy real fast. <laughs> You know where I've decided I'm gonna go? I think we'll hit it. Hopefully we'll hit it. South of south of the mall. Out way out in the country, there is a like a I don't know what you wanna call it. Like a summer camp kind of place, like a camp. 
campgrounds. Um, I'm going to try and hit that. We'll see if we can hit it. I'll just keep going kind of south and maybe a little bit back east because I think we're too far west already. Um, and if nothing else, we should hit the path that it goes to. We'll either hit it or we'll hit the path that goes to it. One of the two. Let's we'll see. Oh, oh, oh. I am somehow not dead. And I know I'm not dead because we've got instant zombification turned on. I am, however, bleeding from three different lacerations. <laughs> Don't know how I managed to do that, but uh, I ain't complaining. Oh, right, the, the neck laceration. I probably should have prioritized that one. Can I do the groin while we're walking? I can. That's surprising. I got caught in a tree there while they were attacking. Watch out for those trees. Like that. That guy almost got me because I was in a tree. I'm hoping that the, the place where we're going won't be super zombified. I've never been there before. I remember seeing it on the map because it looked cool. <laughs> yeah, there's just zombies everywhere. I want to use the walk to command because it makes walking through the forest easier because you don't it automatically avoids the trees but there's too many zombies because it also automatically slows you slows back down to normal speed when uh, zombies get too close and there's zombies just everywhere I do have painkillers I should take those I hope I'm not going too far east. It would suck if we miss it completely. <laughs> I have a little bit of a quieter spot here. Oh, no. Here we go. Am I starting to lose health because of my... because I'm thirsty? Yes. Okay. Alright, um, I didn't really want to do this, but I need to not s die of thirst, so let's drink this beer can. Which is going to make us uh, sleepy real fast. Here we go. Okay, hopefully there's not too many zombies out here. I just need, I need water. All right. Hopefully this place works out for us for a bit. Yay, water. I'm drink again, even though I know we don't need it. Make sure this place is empty for a relax. care that much about word search magazine I don't really care that much about um, looting this place right now I just really don't want to get killed in the middle of the night hey just what I needed <laughs> bottle of disinfectant Piece of bandages. Surgical gloves, another bandage. Probably sleep in here. Seems like the safest place. Let's go ahead and just close this up. We're just gonna close this up. We're gonna hang out in here. And let's deal with our let's deal with our various wounds. Um, although I might actually not deal with our wounds because I'll do with our hand wound. Until our health recovers a little bit, I'm a little worried about um, how much damage this is going to take while I'm uh, 
bandaging it back up. <laughs> oh, I don't have any more food I can eat. All right, I wasn't going to go back out into the world at all, but um, I could really use... I need some food, and there's, I think, a kitchen? Or there's, like, a mess hall here, so I assume there's food in there. Oh, God. Ew. There's a zombie here somewhere. I don't want to fight you, zombie. Eraser? I eat the banana. God, I hate that noise. The 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 sound that they use for the eating of the bananas is just so gross to me. I'm not usually misophonic, but that that one is. Hey, a water bottle. That one's just just not good. Is it this door? No. Wasn't I in here already? Oh, it's one of the baths. Hiding in the stall. There we go. And the key. Thank you, sir. Also, let me take your jeans, because I'm sure the jeans I was wearing are, are trashed. Yeah, they, yeah they're trashed, all right. Okay, let's go back to the infirmary, and we're going to sleep on the infirmary bed. Oops, that's not the infirmary. We're going to sleep in here tonight. This seems like the safest place. Where does this go? Oh, it's like a storage closet. All right, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm the Crummy Archer, and welcome to a new series of Project Zomboid. We're going hard, hard, hard mode today. That's the plan. So we're going to start a solo. I've got most of this set up. Um, I've got the mods already de determined. Um, and a few of them affect the, the balance. A few, of, some of them are just interesting. Uh, this exhilarating organized lit mod is just to make the literature make a little bit more sense. Antique armory. I don't know if this will be overpowered or not. Haven't used it yet. I thought it might be fun to have a sword if it comes up. Authentic Z for a couple of random weird zombies. Um, that is a dependency mod. Got extra map signal symbols. Filibusters used cars for a bunch of new used cars. Katanas and machetes on the belt. Manage containers. More maps. So you can find more map different types of maps. Pillows random spawn mods as usual. The scrap armor and scrap weapons I think may end up being a little too uh, powerful, but we'll see. Uh, small town emergency vehicles just flavors the emergency vehicles a little bit, is my understanding of them. Spears bind with twine and leather strips, so we can make like more primitive spears. Swap it lets you swap out what's on your back with something else if you want. Uh, the true actions mods are in. I don't think I actually meant to put this workshop one in. I'm going to turn that off. Corporal weapons and weapon condition indicator. Alright, in terms of the world... Let me load up my preset here. It's mostly a, a default world, except for the helicopter is going to be for sometimes, because that's always makes things a little more exciting. Root lar uh, loot rarity has been turned down extremely rare, so there's not that much stuff in the world. Um, and zombie time, uh, zombie reanimation time is instant, so we will know we're dead right away. Uh, house alarms triggered by zombies. I always like that one. And now here's where we're actually going to make some serious changes. Did this not stick? We're going to set the maximum of the zombies to four. Population modifier starts at two. The peak population day, though, is just on day four. So we only get a couple of days to, uh, to before the zombies will just be everywhere. Um... I'm going to set this, I don't actually understand the peak population modifier, but since 4 is the maximum, I'm going to set that to 4. 
Because that seems like the right thing to do. No respawn. I turned down the redistribute hours so they won't move around quite as much, as quickly. Um, and I turned up the Growly group size, so we're gonna find larger groups of zombies to deal with. And since we're doing the random start stuff, we're gonna do a random Knox County start. Could be anywhere. Who knows? We'll find out. I've already got my character set up too. It's, uh, it's a burglar, because I think uh, being able to hotwire cars right away is going to be very important. Stout, fit, fast learner, lucky, inconspicuous. Burglar, slow reader, short-sighted, weak stomach, smoker, prone to illness, underweight, slow healer, and high thirst. We got one point left over, but I'm not taking speed demon or else I'll crash into a car and die. Uh, crash into a wall and die. Alright, we got Mr. Crumb Archer here. Crumb L Archer. <laughs> if I did this right, the population shouldn't be terrible on the first day, but it'll get bad real fast. I'm going to stop here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. I am, as always, a criminal nurture, and I'll see you next time.